This right here? Ah, oh, man. Love this bed. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I might as well take my pants off. Well, maybe not, maybe not. My pants, okay. That's too much, I'm going too far. Oh my God, man. His entire spirit was like, I'm big, but I'm not that big. Uh, that looks like a bed, bath, and beyond bed too. Overpriced. Yeah. Yeah, overpriced, <laughs> made out of like cardboard. And you can't jump into it. I'll figure that out. Yeah. $6.99 for something that costs like $3. <laughs> Once again, you've done it all, right? So even having the run at the Televizzle show, right? Mm -hmm. What was the name of the whole thing? Doggy Fizzle Televizzle. Doggy Fizzle Televizzle, <laughs> right? Yeah. So we found what we thought was a pretty, pretty funny concept from one of the sketches you created. Take a look. I'm gonna come up with something that ain't no other rapper or nobody in my realm is even thinking about right now. I can just see it now. The Snooper Market. Everybody <laughs> shouts at the Snooper Market. Man, what happened, man? You ever get a supermarket off the ground? I mean, we got it on the internet. We never really put it in the store, because, you know, I felt like I would be in there taking all of the products. Right. <laughs> and we never launched. All right, well, this particular category, simply titled Snooper Market. Take a look. Yes, sir. Smash it! Look at this. <laughs> this dumbass went on the wall that bad. <laughs> Sale on dip, <laughs> aisle seven. <laughs> okay, um, convenience stores, what's the best time to not go? Probably real, 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 real late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. After 2 a.m., you don't want to be there. Oh man, it's not it's not that you don't want to be there. You just know you're in you're in you're you're taking a risk when you go in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just like anything can happen. You can go in there and it's perfectly calm. You could get swarmed by chaos, right? Drunk people and people asking for money, people maybe looking for some crack. Yeah. Okay, depending yeah. on where you're at. Okay. Certainly somebody looking for whatever you got right after you buy it. Right? <laughs> you know. Uh, but look, the truth is, uh, convenience stores can sometimes get a little bit chaotic, just like everyone in this category, inconvenience stores. Uh-oh. Oh, no. oh. oh my god. Oh. It's so hot out, it's just so hot out. He pointed it down his ass. Russell Brand's lost it. Man, is that one diet? <laughs> I just, I just want to is this one diet? Because I don't want to. I've been watching my figure. I hate these kids. I hate these kids. I hate oh, these kids. Man. No, he stole. You can't remember how to get shot. Better get your ass out of there. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, wow. You have right. to pay for that. Oh, by the look of that smile, Riley isn't paying for anything. <laughs> Okay, so I, I understand due to your controversial lyrics, you've just been banned from a lot of stores. Is that correct? Yeah, it's like, you know, some of these big corporations get a stick up their ass about, you know, <laughs> off your friends in a song, and then uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, you, next thing you know, you ain't at, you ain't at the supermarket, so. <laughs> you know, and it's just like, let, let an artist express himself. Exactly, it's, it's, it's America, let me say what I want. Man. You know, play, play, play that stuff in, in Starbucks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so look. We decided to, to create a whole category of just like you, people that are banned from stores. We call it bandmates. Take a look. Let me climb in here. Okay, okay. Stand down, the America police are coming. That's funny. Coming in hot. You know what it is. <laughs> It's a milk dab, okay? Ooh, skim milk. <laughs> hey, we've got a bad actor in aisle three. <laughs> bad, bad acting. acting. Bad, bad acting. acting. <laughs> These don't fit, so you must acquit. <laughs> look, look, go back, go back. I'm gonna tell you what, the only thing that was discovered here is the fake security cam. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this 
bops right out thinking that there's this kid thinks that you're gonna watch you from stealing shoes, but no, it's fake. At that point, just take them. Not a single thing in there. <laughs> there you have it for band mates. Okay, Leona, so we understand that you and your father didn't like to shop when you were younger. What, what did you used to do? Um, yeah, so when we used to like go shopping with my mom in the supermarket, we used to get a bit bored. So basically we had this game where we'd take items and see how many items we can get into other people's baskets without them <laughs> noticing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd like get to the checkout and you'd see them like... Condoms. Do I have like... I, know. <laughs> I ain't buying no damn condoms. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now, did you ever get caught where they were like, what um, are you doing? Like, once or twice, like, I, I remember someone kind of looking at me, like, knowing what I'm doing, and I'd just, like, run away. I'd be a kid, <laughs> so it'd be fine. Right, right. Yeah. Well, what about your dad? Run away. He never they got catch caught. Him and they're like, this guy's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's got him out. <laughs> Well, we come up with a term to describe it and found a whole host of videos of people messing with people in supermarkets. We call it aisle trolls. Take a look. Um, hello, excuse me. Are y'all on drugs or something? Like, do y'all gotta be grinding on me while y'all kissing on each other? Really? Man, These I love in her. The store, they're making out, but they all grinding on me like. Oh, hell no, I am not menaging anybody here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Right, the line of song, though. That was planned. He really wears a thong. Like, <laughs> look, look at his reaction. Oh, like, all my friends know now. What? It's more comfortable. <laughs> oh. He think God just came back. He like, yeah, yeah. He didn't come for me. He did. He's a rapture. <laughs> That's so good. It's so good. This is just. This is how heart attacks happen. <laughs> how is he that close and she not reacting though? Because she's right on the edge of being alive. <laughs> right? Last thing she needs is someone to get close to the inside of her brain. And she said, ah! When you're in an aisle, look out for fingers in the ears. We'll be right back with more ridiculous things. This is it. If I was to rate myself as a customer, as a consumer, as a patron of somebody's establishment, I would give myself five stars. Five stars. I, I don't care if your food sucks, I will always compliment it. Oh, okay, when you come back over to the table and you say, how is everything? I'm gonna say, everything's great, even though I might be lying. Me too. I've okay. never, com I, I, I have a problem complaining. Yeah, hey, God forbid it was terrible service and terrible food, I'm still gonna tip well. Yep, me too. You ever been on a date and you're like, I can't complain, like, oh, everything's great. And the girl's like, no, it's not. Yeah. He actually hated the <laughs> and avocado. He said it was old. Like, no. Eli, I was never gonna say anything. My wife would never do that. Yeah, your wife would. Yeah, I guess man. I was saying back in the day, I wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're in a sweet spot now, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, this, this category is filled with customers that are the worst of the worst. They got one star customers. Take a look. You got it. Yeah. Oh! oh. I'm blaming the manufacturer. Man, is she oh, like the boba queen? Is she like, I can do it, my eyes but closed. But is that what it is? I think that's what's going on right here. <laughs> Chanel, do you go and buy boba? I honestly don't like like the little balls. Like yeah. I, I try to like go around it and always end up like sucking one on accident. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, that's crazy. Look, I just want to move on. Should be more precautious. Like, things just started getting real <laughs> sideways when balls are getting sucked. <laughs> No way. Oh, <laughs> no Grandma, way. you know I bring my own loaf. Oh. Yeah, smell it. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Smell I it. made that. Smell it. Like, can they charge her for this? Yeah, I mean, but you know how much you hate their bread if yeah. you're going to bring your own bread. Or your bread is just that good. Or you're just that passionate it about like it's bread. It dough. Like, it hasn't even I mean, been cooked yet. No, nah, she cooked then, that, fam. If it, hey, if it cuts like that with a butter knife, you know that's some good bread right there. You know? <laughs> Bro, we in the Waffle House. Oh. Uh, hey, I want these motherfuckers smothered in Bro, Man, we don't, we don't go. 
bro. <laughs> okay, you really should go to sleep. There you have it for One Star customers. Okay, you know, how rewarding is it in life when you want to go to a restaurant to get one last drink and they're closed, but they allow you to be that last person. Oh, they I say, love oh it. man, come on in. What, what can I get you? Like, yeah, burger and fries for your drunk face? Sure. <laughs> oh yeah, it's 1.35? Sure, why don't we let you get another <laughs> shot? Let's send you home with no memory. I mean, how, how great does it feel? Amazing. Because I, I mean, I travel so much for gigs and I'm always in these like small towns where all there is is fast food. So it's like whatever we could get to eat at the end of the night, it, we're like really excited about it. What about the drink, the extra drink you said? Hey, hey, look, let's be real. If it's food or drinks at, at two in the morning, you've been partying, they both are equal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, look, this category is filled with people that want to feel that joy, but they're not allowed to. Take a look at Closed is Closed. Please, please, please. No, oh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Nah. He can play games all night. Man, if you make it in at the last second, you yeah, get to stay like, in there. So fun. This is why I always wait for my garage door to close, because I swear I'm convinced that one day some ninja's going to roll in like that last minute. I've thought about this, too. <laughs> yeah. I always, I'm like, let's make sure it's right down. It's like, it'll be like this much left. And I'm like, all right, OK, good. <laughs> Y'all, she trying to open the door. Allah, it's Walmart. It's 4.30 AM, I sold. Ma'am. Oh. Damn, first of all, why has ma'am got so much power? Ma'am. Bruh, those are also <laughs> sliding doors. She <laughs> opened a sliding door with the power of a ma'am hand. Ma'am, what if I can get it? All I want is beef, blue, shrimp, curry, and that Please. Please. Man, oh, man. Please. This is definitely Please. having actual pumpkin against the this year. Don't do this to me. You know me up until 11 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know if she talks her way in there, but like she's gonna feel like she won the lottery if he opens that door. He just pours a drink through the slot. <laughs> no, I can just stuff some chow mein <laughs> through there. Can I help you? Um, do you guys do that Sellers breakfast special? No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Can't help you, this is my house? <laughs> um, that's fine, let me get, um, he just looked at the imaginary menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, if you're out of that, if you're out of that, then OK, I guess I'll take Man. number six. Yeah, he's like, look, and look, he just looks into their window and yeah. sees like a clock. Oh, cheeseburger. I'll yeah. take a cheeseburger. We're closed. You have to leave. Oh, uh, OK. Oh, uh, OK. Yeah, hey. The quickest way to get rid of a crazy person is to be crazy with them. We'll be right back with more Ridiculousness. Welcome back to Ridiculousness. Okay, uh, have either of you ever worked in fast food? I applied at uh, Del Taco. Oh no, Jack in the Box. And they um, told me no. What? Told me no, yeah. You're lying. When Damn. I first moved out here. Man, you trying to tell me that you couldn't look at a Stilo Brim <laughs> job application? Come you on, wouldn't man. meet Stilo Brim and be like, hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, I mean, am I too good looking for here? That's what I felt like. I felt yeah. like I was good. <laughs> I was like, no, I came yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. And I was hey. like, this mother knows I'm coming for his spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now we get it, man. And I had to, I had to get me myself there <laughs> because it didn't make any sense, and now I get it. Uh, well, look, so many times uh, people just put so much on people that work fast foods, and they're quick to get abused, you know. And just be nice to them. Just eat the food. Take a look. <laughs> Oh, hold on, I gotta check it. Does it got the mayo? All right, this is awesome. Okay, it's okay, it's all right. Oh, oh. Ew, what the okay. hell? That's oh, so it's good. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he knows the whole thing's about to go sideways, and then when he hits him with them, it's actually, oh, oh, great. Yeah, he was. Great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, Dwight? What? I'm about to Dwight around your lips. <laughs> you got so close. I'm about to Dwight around your lips. <laughs> Pizza delivery, boy. Is he a stripper or something? Oh, oh, no. oh, oh my God. Man. I just guessed he Mark turned around. Hey, bro. You I don't good? know why I 
feel this weird vibe like the first guy might have been the actual pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he just left it. And yeah. the guy came in like, wait, somebody took my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, wait a minute here. <laughs> Literally, he's like, oh man, he's like, sorry, I took your job. And why oh. in the front room, right by the window, man. is the stripper going ham? Hey, How you doing? Uh, my boyfriend was here earlier. He said that you wrote your phone double or his receipt, and I'm just here to check you and say, like, I'm just to here to your check you. Or whatever's going on. I know he's fine. His name Antoine. Here we go. You work for her? Look, let me. Yeah. I don't care about you. Don't care about you. Or Antoine. here, say good morning like we said to you. Oh, okay. Good morning. Yeah. I don't care about no Antoine. I don't care about none of that. You want I said good morning. No, I'm asking you want to go to school? Yeah. Yeah. She got me. Look, he got shook real quick. Yeah. It's like, man, she's going to get me. She looked around first, too. She man. was like, all right. I'm going to keep it real with you, homie. Can I take your order? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Can I get a cup of water? Okay. A uh, pack of ketchup. Yeah, uh, two things of salt, one thing of pepper, and a uh, job application. Can I get you anything else? Nah, that'll be it. First window. Okay, look, man, you ain't gonna give Steve a, a, a job, but you're gonna give this man a job. There you have it for Just Eat the Food. Okay, look, uh, I don't know about you guys, but the moment I get into a hardware store, I feel like I could make anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of feel the same way. Man, I don't know why it's the most exciting store in the world. It like, is. Yeah. Because it's like, anything's possible. Should I build a fence? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't know. You know, and occasionally I'll get some where it'll be like, hey, I'm gonna go for it, and I'll buy some spray paint and some, I don't know, and I'll get home, and it's its just not possible. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. It seemed amazing in the store, and then you get home, like, I don't have time to do this. <laughs> uh, but look, I, I love uh, hardware stores, I love the experience, I love lying to myself when I'm in there. Yeah. But some people just like acting a fool in there. Take a look at Tool Shop Tools. <laughs> Oh, okay. Pull out the floorboard and get to wiggling. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 oh. But like, what was supposed to happen? Nothing. You like put your phone on the ground? What are we even doing here? Is this TikToking? Is this what the kids are doing? <laughs> Is this what the kids are doing? <laughs> oh. That's gonna fall. That's gonna oh. fall. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm like, that's so Raven. Yeah. Can I see the future? That's gonna fall. That's gonna fall. He was already so satisfied with himself before it was even it hit the ground. Yep. She hated America. She hates America, but she loves freedom. <laughs> <laughs> freedom! <laughs> How do I do want America? Man. I love freedom. Look, in America in a Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> You're as free as you need to be. There's so much going on. Wow. Suck it! <laughs> I don't even want a faucet. <laughs> Ah, so I guess uh, I wouldn't want to pay for this. Easiest way to do this is just kind of slip it in the back here. What? Uh, okay. Look, is that hey. Yeah, just trying to. Um, Ma'am? Nothing, nothing. It's nothing. I'm not trying to steal anything. My back itches. My back itches. <laughs> there you have it for Tool Shop Tools. Okay, um, one of the biggest threats that can happen to a child is uh, you break it, you bought it. Yep. Right? Yeah. Um, as I reflect on it, um, I think it was just a threat. I don't ever remember somebody breaking something and having to buy something that no. I can remember. I'm not going to lie. As a kid, one time I thought to myself, maybe I should break it. And then she has to get it for me. But it's also not real. Your parents just tell you that so you don't touch it. Right. Just don't touch anything. But that also happens, though, sometimes. No, you break stuff believe. in stores, and stores have insurance on stuff. They don't make right? you buy it's it. It's a lie. That's a lie. That we've been served as children that will perpetually serve to our children forever. Yeah, for sure. Because these little little baby hands are all over everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta try to do something, and it only gets when they understand value where you're gonna break it, and you just hope you don't get caught in the Chanel angle where it's like, I'm gonna break this too on this. Yeah. Uh, well, look, this whole category right here is filled with people that, that are about to pay the price. You break it, you bought it. Take a look. <laughs> This right here? Ah oh, man. 
Love this bed. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I might as well take my pants off. Well, maybe not, maybe not. My pants, okay. That's too much, I'm going too far. Oh my God, oh, man. His entire spirit was like, I'm big, but I'm not that big. Uh, that looks like a Bed Bath & Beyond bed too, overpriced. Yeah. Yeah, overpriced, <laughs> made out of like cardboard. And you can't jump into it. I'll figure that out. Yeah. $6.99 for something that costs like $3. <laughs> Damn, brand, oh, vintage? How much is this thing? 16,000? I love the acoustics. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, I didn't realize. This is George Washington's guitar? <laughs> this is George Washington. <laughs> Estimates has this at 600,000. <laughs> <laughs> he just breaks. <laughs> oh man, how many are we gonna lose? This cat's oh. a wino. Oh, oh this cat. Oh, what? Like, why is this cat just like disrespecting? This stuff is expired! Man. Look, look, trying to get, where's he at? I ain't seen a bull in the child's job, but I've seen a, I've seen a cat in a liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it for you, break it, you bought it.